Okay. Um, so this, although you're getting it before your midterm, um, is really going to be for post-midterm. I'm going to talk about chord function. We've done this a little bit before. We've talked about ones and five chords. I'm going to quickly review what that means, and then I'm going to show you some ways you should be thinking about scales and chords. So I'm just going to write myself a treble clef here, spiral around, come up, come down. And I'm going to write myself an F major scale. So that's got one flat, B flat, F, G, A, B flat, C, sorry, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F again. Just make sure that's in the frame. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit like that. Okay. So this is note number one, two, three, four, five six, seven, and then one again in the scale. And if we were using this uh, for a song, then we would say, since we're using the F major scale, that we are in the key of F. And if you actually saw a piece of music written in the key of F, it would actually have a key signature. Means that at the very beginning of the line here, it will index what's flat or sharp, and since it has one flat B flat. You'd see that right there. And that would say, aha, we're in the key of F. We're using the F scale. And then I don't have to write this in all the time. I could just write F, G, A, B. And because this is there, flat. C, D, E, F. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Okay? Um, that means F is home. That means F chord feels like home. Like if I play in the key of F, I'll play something right here. So F chord, B e flat, C7. And home. The way the notes all line up and the chords are made and things like that, they always want to pull you back to home, which is one. Okay? That's not just the note, but even the chord spelt on there. So if we were to spell an F chord in the key of F, we'd use the notes from the F scale. That'd be F, A, C, which is F major. Yeah? Okay. And um, if we were to build a chord on four, right, on the fourth scale degree, it would be B flat, D, and F right there, right? And B flat, D, and F is a B flat major triad, okay? And then if I was building on this right here, I would go C, E, G, and that would be a C major triad right there. And we call the chord built on the first scale degree the one chord, and this is the four chord because it's built on the fourth scale degree, and this is the five chord. And they have a function. One is home, Five is the thing that binds everything together and eventually comes back to home. And four is an accessory, another place to go. Now, it's more complicated than that, but, um, but it really works very, very well that way. Um, another way that I like to talk about this is, if this is a hamburger, this is the burger, it's the most important part. Five is the bun, which holds all the other chords in place and then eventually gets us back to the burger right there. And, uh, you know, if I go like, um, let's see, down in the valley, valley so low, I've got to change chords. That's my five chord. One chord, F. No. Doesn't even have a four chord in it. It's the basic cheap budget burger you buy on the value meal. Burger, bun. You already know this because you did, um, uh, you did Itsy Bitsy Spider, didn't you? Let me draw what that would look like, okay? So if you remember the Itsy Bitsy Spider song that you did that for, it was... 
in the key of D because it had two chords. And the key of D has an F sharp and a C sharp because the scale has two sharps, right? We're in D. So that would be D, E. I'm going to put a parenthesis here so you remember. F sharp, G, A, B, and then a C sharp and a D. And what's my one chord? Well, one is going to be on D right here, and it's going to be D, F sharp, because the scale, and A, and that's a D major chord. And what's my five chord? It's A, one, two, three, four, five, right? C sharp, right, because that's in the scale, and E, so that's A. And if you remember, Itsy Bitsy Spider started on, this is your chord transcription song, the itsy bitsy spider that's all d chord right there one one chord went a chord up the water that's my five chord it's my a chord it's the bun it goes back to spout down came the rain and five chord a chord and one chord d chord and up came the sun and five chord dried up all the one chord rain and the itsy bitsy spider went one five chord sorry up ace chord the spout uh again we end at home these two chords do all the work in most pieces it really is the burger patty and the bun not that the other things are not important if we had everybody live here we could say assuming you like burgers at all what's important on a burger, and some people will say, well, cheese is the next most obvious thing. I think of my four chord as cheese. Uh, remember Yellow Bird? Hmm, let's see. Yellow Bird up, that's my one chord. High in banana tree, that's my five chord going back to the one chord. It does it again. Yellow Bird, it's one chord. You five chords sit all alone like me. Cheese, four chord. Did your lady friend, back to the one chord, we leave the nest again. And then five chord, that is very sad. And so on, right? And so it just needs a little more, and so they throw that on. Jazz is in love with the two chord. They love these sort of two, five, sounds. Entire pieces are made up of that. But as you now start thinking about your scales in a more mature way in the second half of the term, we want to think not just what are the notes, but what are the functions of the notes. First note is called the key note because if we're in, using the D scale, we're in the key of D. It's one, it's the home place, the note and the chord, right? Five is the next most important thing. It has a fancy, fancy name called dominant. You don't have to worry about that. But the five chord is the other one. These two frame up all the phrases, all the work in a, in a song. And then the other things dance around and add flavor and interest to them. But these are the structural chords. And you will find that at the beginning and ev ending of almost every phrase in a song or in a piece of classical music, almost, it's a one chord or a five chord. It's almost a safe bet to just count on that, all right? All right, so that's something to think about. Um, what else can I tell you real quick? I could tell you what the qualities of the chords are right now, but I think I'll save that for another lecture, okay? One chords and five chords. Now that you know your scales, start thinking, well, what is my one note and what is my five note? And there's a super easy way to do that. If you're in the key of D, the one chord is D, so that's easy. And then what's my five chord? You spell a D major scale or, or triad, D, F sharp, A. A is my five. If I'm in the key of F, right, then F is my one, and then I go F, A, C, F major, C is my five. And you can do that for everything. If I'm in the key of C, C is my one, C, E, G, C major, G is my five, G, B, D, right, and so on. Okay, great.